Hey YouTube. Okay. Welcome to an unboxing for my birthday. First we're gonna sing happy birthday and then I'll unbox whatever it is. Well I know what it is, first of all. So Where did I do these upside down? on my potatoes, hopefully it picks off. So let's do this quickly because I don't want my potatoes to be ruined. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caleb. Happy birthday to you. That was nice. For the record books. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And now for the magic. Oh. That little doorbell interruption was actually surprisingly related because uh, I had a pair of Beats headphones that um, you know I wasn't using anymore and. I kind of didn't like how uncomfortable they were, they were on ears. So I was selling them and I sold them to a friend. That doorbell thing was him coming and bringing off the money. But I might see if I can borrow them just one more time because I want to do a video looking at the audio that I've used over the years, kind of like I did with my camera. So today we are unboxing the V Moda Crossfade 2 wireless headphones. And the wish that I made off those birthday candles in the mashed potatoes, which is just because I was going to eat them for my next meal, um, that is that this is going to be the most luxurious unboxing experience I have ever had, which I'm pretty sure it is, because these are $350 headphones, and it's just the way that their website is displayed, the way that I go, the ordering process, the way that I carried them. Because I've ordered more expensive products, like uh, the microphone that I have, and the recorder that I have, and the camera that I have, are all more expensive, well I think the recorder is about on par with these, but the, most of them are more expensive. Even my phones, they've been a utilitarian unboxing experience. You know, the phones were a little bit more, look at the amazing device on top of it, for the most part it's just utilitarian, here's the item and I'll go use it. I like that, but I'm kind of looking forward to something luxurious. And um, this is early because I've only ever opened one of my birthday presents early any of my presents early. I always order them so that they arrive a little bit early so I know that they're guaranteed to be there on Christmas or on my birthday or whenever. But um, the only time that I've done one early is when I ordered my belt pouch because China was saying it could be several months, or eBay, sorry, uh, from China. And But then I got it like a month early and I was like, I'm gonna really use this every day. So, and so I said, okay, I'll open it early and use it early. And I did, I used it like every single day of the whole month or whatever before my birthday. And these are the rose gold variant with tilt the box so I can see it coating. I'm just gonna you. pull it straight out of the box. Okay. Whoa, whoa, so far, definitely more luxurious than the other stuff. So what do we got here? We got rose gold on the box, because they are. You guys will get to see what color I picked for the outside plate. Wow, that's like, I think that's real leather for the strap. And then these things right here are like actual metal. Metal clasp on the back here, a little, I don't know what that loop in the back. Oh, it says cut, the scissors. That's to keep it closed at the, well, at the store, wherever it is. There we go. Careful getting my scissors in under there and snip that open. Cool, before I do that, I just want to see what the box says because I haven't... I picked these headphones because they're the most durable headphones. They're not the best sounding according to websites, but it's like other headphones come in at a 10 and these come at a 9, maybe an 8. So, let's see, on the back we got 50 millimeter dual diaphragm. Patent pending. That's the drivers. High res CCAW coil made in Japan. Bliss memory foam on the cushions. That's going to be nice too. Easy pairing button. Ergonomic steel flex headband. 
um, click fold hinge, stealth controls, okay, they're on the side there, kind of black buttons that blend in, a built-in, ooh, huh. So it's got a built-in microphone, but then I believe there's also a microphone on the cord. So I guess the advantage is you don't, because you can run these Bluetooth or you can run these wired without the Bluetooth. So I'm guessing that would be so if you have the wire on and you're not using the Bluetooth, well then you still get the microphone. I'm not sure, I have to look into that. But then also you can buy another gaming microphone that's on a boom that comes out that I suppose sounds better. That's the only thing that I saw with that extra add-on and I was like, no. I mean, the best I did was just order the $350 ones with the aptix codec for Bluetooth sounding better as opposed to the, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, as opposed to the $330 normal ones. Let's see what we got here in this package here. Um, we have a sticker. Cool. Whenever I get a car, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna get my license and which car I'm gonna have, but it will be going on the car. And then if I have to change my car, then I'll peel it off. So we got a little booklet here showing some of the cool stuff. Oh, dang it. So on their website, zoom in on this, Mom. Actually, no, we'll show the front cover here. So on their website, they show like some engravings that you can have, or you can upload a custom design. It's like laser engraved. This one here shows that design, one of the options I had in gold. Whereas on their website, it looks like it was um, not, it looked like it was gonna be a white color, which laser engraving usually is. So maybe this is a different plate that I could have picked, but if it actually was like on the website where the laser engraving was in white on whatever I picked, then definitely I don't want laser engraving. But if that, if it is an option, oh, okay, so they've got monograms and they show you the different ones that you can pick. Okay, so. Yeah, as long as, as long as it was white like it was showing, then I'm happy with my choice. Let's see, this just kind of pulls up. Okay, so we got this piece right here. Nice cushion for these headphones. Another cushioning in the box. Let's see, we got another card here. Immortal Life. Program activate your premier warranty and 50% immortal life program. Register now at vmoda.com slash register. So let's see, vmoda's verb is to deliver you a six star experience. Your word of mouth allows us to focus on timeless quality. Leave a review on Amazon and share your audio revelation on social media with your friends. If you ever need help, our six star service and immortal life program will always be available to keep you a VMOTA customer for life. Grazie mille. Uh, from Val Colton. I'm guessing that's like a thank you or something from something maybe French or Italian. Grazie mille. Pull the plastic off of this here. Carabiner clip. Ooh, I like this hard. I'm a fan of hard shells. My camera has a hard shell, so it goes really everywhere. These ones, which we'll point out in a minute, have a kind of hard shell. The Beats headphones didn't have a hard shell case. They did have a nice clip, though, where it was kind of like a loop strap that clipped in and out easy, but this is, this is equally nice, too. I feel like this should go like this. Okay, let's open these bad boys up and see what I'm getting. And you guys will get to see the color as well as me for the first time in real life. Okay, okay, wow. so right off the bat, I'm not seeing the custom extra plates on here. I'm gonna have to find those somewhere. I hope they're here. If they're not, and they rest on my order, then I'm gonna call up their five-star service and be like, guys, Hello, and then hopefully, six star service for help visit vmoda.com. So hopefully then they would be like, oh, we're sorry about that, and give me priority shipping on those things real fast, which would be pretty cheap though, because they're extra plates. This is here. 
So this is definitely a very nice unboxing experience compared to the other items that I've had, which is cool and I was hoping for that. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna come up close to the camera for a second there. This is the thing that you always get close to the camera for. I can even get under there. Beautiful. Now let's just kind of stop look here, but like I said, extra plates. So, um, I hope I don't have to like Google this or something. Here's the cable. Wow, that's held in by a screw in there. Shows you how high quality this is. We've also got a USB power cord, nice flat design. That's a decent length. Very nice, very nice micro USB. I think these came out before <coughs> the, um, nothing else in here. These came out before USB-C was as big as it is now. But even now we're still kind of in the, where USB isn't 100% for USB-C. Um, okay, we're gonna pause and come back in just a second. Okay, so I found the extra plates. I'm gonna put them down there, kind of hidden for a second. Um, does this come with, actually I'm gonna hide those in there so you guys can't see them. This come with, and you can see this comes with any sort of a tool. Because it should have a way for you to, oh, it's in with the uh, plates. Okay, so. Here we go. If you hold them up slow, I'm gonna say them. Rock skin red. This one I'll just do from, nope. Nope, you always got it. Right up there. For those ASMR fans. Go back where you were. There you go. You satisfied now? There we go. I'm gonna swap these out right away. I was expecting them to already be on the thing. Oh my goodness, wow. They even, the, the little, all right. Here we go. This is strange, but they've got the sticky protective cover on the little screwdriver. This is like insane attention to detail, making it perfect. And because they're mostly word of mouth, which they are, then hey, great, you get um, this kind of experience. So it is like a hex screw. I'm not going to bother counting. It's kind of a hex Allen wrench style of design. You know, right off the bat, I'm gonna say, I mean, this does kind of make it get a little more up close and personal with your headphones. And also like you can order more um, plates and stuff to swap out, which this is, this is kind of cool. Cause this is something that I thought about and asked and got a few comments on Facebook on a local film group here. Uh, if, you know, I asked if they, these would be too flashy and showed a picture of what I was thinking of ordering. And basically, if needed, I could put some gaff tape over them. But also, too, if it was really too flashy and gaff tape wasn't helping, I could swap out the place to go a little bit less flashy. Although, I don't want to do that. So I would say, if you guys want to offer six-star service, one thing you could do is have an option to have these plates pre-installed. 
Because I'm a guy that kind of likes to just get up and run with things. Oh. Hey, it's magnetized. Hold it, hold it there. Yep. Make sure that you can see that. See how it's magnetized? All right, there we go. Oh, they look beautiful. Would have been a little bit easier if this was a little bit bigger, but what I think would be even cooler, but probably not possible, is if you had this same size screw uh, hex wrench driver thing, but it was a ratchet. If they made it that small, that would be attention to detail. Amazing, but I don't think it's possible. Hold so, up so I can get a close up on them. Here they are in all of their glory. There are like screws everywhere. I see why people say, websites say that this is the most durable headphones ever. Okay, hold it to the side without your hand there so I Hold can... it nice and portable. Yeah, hold Man. it like that. What? Hold, hold that. Oh, that's really nice. Yes, very nice. So let's give these a test. We have a... Um, Turn off the headphones. Slide the three-way switch to the middle position. LED will start to blink once per second. Slide switch to the right. Hold three seconds. So we need to go to the... Okay. Um, this when the LED starts to blink twice per second, release the switch. To appear on the new Bluetooth device. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna pair them up. There we go. Oh, I see an X. Um, let's find. Uh, okay, let's see Get that one. There we go, zoom in on that so you can see that at Dex certification. Basically that means that these sound better than other Bluetooth headsets, even the other Bluetooth headsets by Vimoda. It's not focusing when we get that close. Hey, go ahead and zoom out then. We'll, we'll get a screenshot in there. Yeah. It's cool. Um, so basically I said, why not pay extra $20 you get these $350 ones instead of $330 ones. It's kind of a shot in the dark. I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference. I kind of can between a high quality flack and something else. But let's go ahead and listen to something. We're gonna listen to my favorite song, which is Sky Full of Stars. And then if you guys want, I'm not gonna do the high quality sample, but if you guys want, I will record a high quality sample of these like I did for, um, Earbuds galore, but I have to get 50 likes on the video, 10 people in the comments saying that you want to see that. So let's hit up Sky Full of Stars. They sound amazing. I'm gonna give them a comparison to this. Hmm. So I am used to listening to these a little bit more, so I'm kind of inclined to say that these sound better, but these I'm sure sound way better. They're way more expensive than these. Talk about these in a second. Um, the difference here is, one second. Let me try a few other songs. Yeah, definitely. So I would say there's maybe a little bit better separation. On these, they do have good highs, mids, and lows. 
these they're a little bit louder on like the singer the singer is a little bit more predominant so these are a slightly high heavy but they do have really really good sound let me double check my accession so yes these are better with my ears it is marginally better mainly because of um well my ears are pretty good I need, I need to find out which way is which so okay this is the right way which is nice because i like my audio plugs on the right side so try out this audio plug and then the earbuds and stuff on the table i just kind of show off some of the stuff i've used in the past but i do want to do a separate video for that you got a right angle plug, which supposedly helps with uh, durability. Hold it up again. Let me know when you can see that. Lift your head up. Okay. Now we should. Right, there's no light on there. My phone doesn't show, it shows wired, so we're good. Listening to Faded by Alan Walker. So yes, they sound better. I don't know about better over wired versus wireless. That's probably gonna be something that I can't hear. But they do sound better than these. Really nice, but it's these are really good and these are like 15 bucks right now going used on eBay. So really quickly tell you just about, um, about these. Well, I'll save that for the other video for the look back. But I will say about these though that uh, this is my second pair of these and I've been using these since Christmas and they are nice. I like them a lot. They're the only pair of earbuds that I'm... Earbuds, not phones. See, these are phones. These are buds. Buds go deep in your ears, the phones don't. So these ones, like, scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst for comfort. These, some, these go like three is their maximum sometimes. I can get the right position and they don't really hurt. They were a four yesterday, but that's just because of how I, like, sleep I got and stuff. So the big thing is these are going to become more of my main drivers, except maybe possibly during really warm summers. I might use these outdoors more. We'll see how hot these get if it's too uncomfortable. I don't mind it. Like with these, I wore these quite a bit during the warmer months when I was working at a call center, taking the bus to and from. And I would mostly notice it felt fine. And then I'd take them off and my ears would be very really cool because of the sweat. So I didn't mind it, you know, but these might be a little more comfortable. I don't know. So these are going to kind of be pushed out of the side. It will be nice though, because I'll be able to keep these inside of my uh, belt pouch. And because these are going to be the always with me. So then I I'll always have them with me. I won't have to worry about like, you know, there have been times in the past where I'm like, uh, even I think with these, I was going somewhere and I'm like, no, I won't bring them with me. I don't want to listen to music right now. And then on the way home from my trip, I was biking, I believe. I was like, yeah, I feel like listening to music right now, huh? But I don't have my headphones, what am I going to do? Oh, well, I'll take my flip phone and I'll turn the volume up as loud as it gets, which is pretty quiet, especially on MP3, and I'll stick it in my uh, bike helmet strap right there and have it right there, and it was probably the worst audio experience you could get. Well, not the worst, pretty bad. So, yeah. I like this. Oh, it says plug in all the way. I wonder what that has to do with anything. Well, probably in case you don't, do not insert angled plug into headphones. Remote will not function. Yep. Yep. And that's one thing that they... I think the Beats headphones were universal on their sides, but audio plugs... Go ahead and zoom in on this, and then we'll go ahead and end here. So audio plugs have a... 
There's a four pole and a three pole are the two here. There's even some that are two pole. Is there a way to focus it after it's zoomed all the way in? Um, nope, there's okay. not to so just zoom out a bit. It should be on autofocus, mm -hmm. I hope. It is. Well, you don't know that because you didn't look at the settings. Okay, so um, the one on the right is a three pole. Uh, I believe it's ground, right, left. I don't know how the four pole works, but the fourth pole is for. Um, oh, they turned back on a Bluetooth as soon as I unplugged them. That's cool. The fourth pole is for. What's Microphones and buttons. And so this is something to watch out for too, because your phone is going to assume there's a microphone anytime there is a fourth pole. So if you wanted to use this as an aux cable for your car, you could. But this goes into the phone, this goes into your car. Well, if the plug didn't have a mic on it, this one does, so there's no worry there. Or if you wanted to still use the mic on your phone, you'd plug this one into your phone. Now, there's a pair of uh, earbuds at the dollar store. I have one. They have this type of plug because they have a volume control and button on it, no microphone. Then there's also some that look exactly like them and they have the microphone. So if you're getting those for your phone, don't because then you won't be able to, you have to unplug your headphones to use the mic on your phone. Hmm, I, I want to check something here because that feels intriguing. Like it's like not a, a button, but it probably is. Oh, here it is, death. I was usually the mic's with the button, but nope, they put it closer. That's nice. Lower it a little bit so it's in front of the white of your shirt. Turn it so I can see. What? Turn it so I can see. So there's no volume control on this, which I believe if you bought the more expensive headset, it would. And it's kind of. It feels like there should be. It feels like this was just a case and they put it in there quick and dirty. That's okay. But these are expensive. I wish they would have done something. But I want to just see. Okay, so my only gripe with these, they feel really comfortable and nice. My only gripe with these is um, no volume control on the stock one and you couldn't use the volume control on this. Could have I think they could have wired it up so that this would have worked for volume control when you're wired in, but nope. Nope, at least I got my smartwatch so I can still work the volume from there. Hey, kind of a first world problem, but. All right, there we go. The Moda Crossfade 2 Wireless. Mm. Ooh. One more little thing I just noticed there is, can you zoom in and see those white spots inside of the uh, memory foam? I believe that's like an air hole so that it, air hole so it can compress down and get nice and comfy without, um, without like being stuck with the air trapped inside of. Because on these, there's kind of like, you can hear the air squishing out of the seams. This one, there's not so much that air squish. I don't feel a whoosh when I squeeze these, but I believe both of these are memory foam. That is actually really, really cool. And the last thing I'll say before I take you guys out, uh, I believe Captain Sparkles told me about this. I was watching one of his videos, and he said that the reason that like beds and stuff feel comfortable is because they're able to conform to the shape of your body and all the pressure points. Whereas something hard like a rock or the ground, it um, doesn't conform to those pressure points and so there's more pressure on the sticky out bits like your shoulder bones and stuff. And so that's why this is more comfortable than rocks. Or these things. Oh, I should also mention, I wanna do a video on these at some point and they came with this t-shirt and I thought I'd wear it cause headphones. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in whatever is next.